It's official. The biggest, most important upgrade of the Galaxy S26 Ultra is now finally here. It's not even been 7 days since the iPhone 17 series global launch and they have already been defeated as the Galaxy S26 Ultra will indeed be the fastest phone in the world, rocking the fastest CPU in the world, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Not only are we going to see all the new improvements, but also see head-to-head -head comparison with the A19 Pro chip inside the iPhone 17 Pro, giving us a glimpse of how the S26 Ultra will stack up against the iPhone 17 Pro Max. This goes beyond just numbers because Galaxy S26 Ultra could bring Samsung's biggest video upgrade, perhaps the biggest video upgrade on any Android phone ever, finally matching or even outperforming Apple's video dominance. Plus, for the first time, introducing something that's going to make the iPhone look even more outdated. When it comes to AI features are concerned, future is about to begin. So let's first take a look at the numbers. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 goes up to 4.6 gigahertz clock speed, delivering up to 20% improved performance over Snapdragon 8 Elite. GPU is 23% faster, while the NPU is 37% faster compared to last generation. And most impressively, the overall power efficiency is about 16% better. And well, the results are here. Snapdragon 8 Elite is officially the fastest CPU in the world, leading in multi-core scores, beating out the Apple A19 Pro with a pretty respectable margin. Single core is literally the only area where Apple is just hanging about because when it comes to GPU and NPU, A Elite Gen 5 is faster, making it overall the fastest CPU on a phone. Keep in mind the A Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy version will be even slightly faster, so Apple has no chance. But as I said, this is not just about numbers because Samsung is about to hit Apple where it hurts. For the very first time, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 will be the first chip to support hardware APB codec. With this codec, you'll be able to record proper raw videos with no loss of image quality, pretty much rivaling or surpassing Apple's ProRes raw video performance. Samsung has already been working on this most significant video upgrade for the S26 Ultra with a proper LUT mode where you can apply customizable effects to the video easily right on your device. Not just that, you can shoot APB log and APB HDR video giving you more flexibility. Finally, it seems like the video is about to get the biggest upgrade we have ever seen on the Galaxy S26 Ultra. We also get a new 20-bit ISP which increased four times dynamic range performance compared to last generation. And the upgrade that not a lot of people are talking about is the on-device agentic AI performance. This is when you tell AI to do something for you like book a hotel or book a flight and it does everything right from your command. A lot of companies are working on this. For example, Honor showed off how you can just tell agentic AI to book a hotel reservation or a restaurant restaurant reservation and it does that automatically within seconds and now with the A Elite Gen 5 with proper on-device agentic AI support faster than ever just imagine what Samsung can bring with this upgrade like just telling your phone to do things for you even just editing photos the possibilities are just endless. Speaking of AI, the NPU is very, very fast, like up to 37% faster with AI performance compared to last generation, meaning a lot of AI tasks will now be on device rather than requiring internet connection. This is honestly way much of a bigger upgrade than just CPU, GPU numbers, especially the APB codec support because we have already heard Samsung has been working really hard to bring this upgrade for the S26 Ultra. I can't wait to see the S26 Ultra's camera performance in action. It truly looks like a remarkable upgrade is coming our way. So yeah, it's been seven days of iPhones having the world's fastest CPU, but now thanks to Qualcomm and eventually Samsung getting this chip, A Elite Gen 5 has dethroned A19 Pro. I have to say tech moves really, really fast and currently Android is just dominating all around. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.